Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a video call and screen sharing in a Discord channel. As you can see right now, I currently have my video enabled. I can see a second user screen and it's all inside the Discord channel. From my understanding, this is limited up to 30 people. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to do this. We'll even be able to have multiple people enable their screen sharing at once with some little caveats that we're gonna be explaining in the video. Let's jump right into this. So I'll start this video off by saying we won't actually need to mod or adjust our server in any way. We do need to change one setting to enable us to get certain links for Discord channels. So the first thing we need to do is enable developer mode on our Discord account. To do this, what we need to do is come down to the bottom left of our Discord. We're gonna be clicking on the user settings option right here. We're gonna be coming to the appearance tab and we're gonna be scrolling down a little bit until we see advanced. And all we need to do is make sure the developer mode is checked here like this. Make sure this is enabled and that's the only thing we will have to change. From this point, we're gonna be going back to any Discord channel you choose. In this case, I have this tutorial channel I'm gonna be using right here. And what we're gonna be doing is taking this link. I'll be leaving it in the description down below. I'll be pasting it in the description with spaces so you can actually copy the link without going to a web page. So what we're gonna be doing is two things. We're gonna be placing the server with the server ID of the server we're currently in. And we're gonna be placing the channel with the channel ID that we want to set up into. So to get the server ID, what we need to do is right click on our server name on the top left, click copy ID, and then simply replace the server with the ID that we just copied from our server. From this point, we then need to get the channel ID. So in this case, I'm gonna be using general 2.0 to do this. All you need to do is right click here, click copy ID, then paste the copy ID in here and click enter, and a new link should be created. In this case, it's edited from my previous one, so I wanna actually have the small snippet preview, but that's not a big deal. From this point, anyone that clicks this link will be able to join as long as they're in this channel. So in this case, I set it up for general 2.0. So all you need to do is click into general 2.0. All you need to do is click this link, and then you will join this Discord screen sharing and video call. It's really easy to share your screen or turn on your video from here. We can simply turn on our camera, and multiple users will be able to turn on your camera, even though mine seems to be lagging a little bit right now. We'll also have the option to go live or share your screen. If we click this, we'll then be able to choose an application or screen that we want to share. In this case, I'll just choose an application. I'll choose Discord. If I click go live, my screen will now share and anyone that joins this channel and clicks the link will be able to see my screen share. So Discord have recently changed it where they have combined the previous feature of mine where I showed you how to create a video call on Discord and the go live feature into one thing. So right now you can see I'm currently live and you can see it right here. I can see a small little preview of my screen share and anyone can join my screen sharing and my streaming session. However, you can see in my other channel, I also have another friend of mine, Lenka, who's live at the moment. And you can see a small preview of their screen share. We can also join the stream right here. And you'll notice as soon as we join the stream, we actually lose our screen sharing option. And if we come down here, we can only get the option to stop watching. So this is one downside to the current live feature. We can't actually share at the same time, except using this little trick I discovered. If we stop watching right now you can see that we're still on the discord channel right here however we're not joined in to watch the live stream what we can do is a small little trick is actually join the discord channel through a link in this case it's for a different channel it's for the general channel and i created this previously what we can do is click this link open and here we can see all current video if any webcams or anything like that is enabled we can also see all screen sharing and live activity at the moment so you can see, we can see Lenka's screen here right now. If she had her webcam on, we would also be able to see that. In this case, if I enable my webcam, you can see it shows up right here. And this way we can actually have multiple users sharing their screen and doing their things at the same time. So from this point, it is also possible for me to share my screen. Although it's not the best feature, Discord had it a little bit better before, but we will be able to do two users live in a channel at one time. And anyone that joins in this view will be able to see multiple screens at once. However, they can only join and see one stream full screen at a time. So what I can do is actually click go live here as well and I can select whatever channel I want to share and I can share my screen at the moment here as well. So you can see two users are currently live and any party that joins that link through the method I showed previously will be able to see both of these at once along with webcams that are currently being set up even though I can't currently see them at the moment. Now what I can do is come back to general. If I join this link again, you can see it will just bring me to my live stream. So what this card have done is limited this a little bit so you can only see users who are currently live streaming like this. So it is possible to live stream and share your screen without actually creating this link. Although you will not have the overview and multiple users will not be able to share at once. So one sad point to this, if I actually decide to join Lenka's stream right now at the moment, you'll see my screen sharing will no longer be live, even though I am still sharing video and the link that we set up before. What I can do is stop watching, 
come back to this link and then I can see the overview here again. And any users who join here that are not streaming will be able to see this overview along with any webcams that are shared. So it's a little bit of a workaround. We can still share screens and video at the same time in Discord, but it's still a little bit of a workaround. It's not exactly perfect, but right now it's the best we have. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm gonna be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you wanna support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.